Hello Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can uh, take a file, a swatch, from Illustrator, and I'm using CC 2015, and put it into an application called Affinity Designer. Now this is a package from uh, Serif, and I'm just going to go now to Illustrator, and what I can do, I've got Swatches palette there, and Window, and Swatches. Just simply drag from there and there you've got the design. Now you can just copy it over just via the Control C, but uh, I'm just going to use Edit and Copy. Then go to Affinity Designer. Just quickly open a document. I'm going to go for 700 by 700. Now I can make it any size. It's a vector design, so make it 2000 by 2000. But I'm just going to go for that and just copy it in there. Now I'm just going to move those out of the way. What I want to do now is just make certain that that's set, enable snapping. Because what I want to do is preset page layout with objects. I just want to just drag that down. You see it snaps to that. Because I want, I want is that to be 700 by 700. I don't want any white background or anything like that. Now what you can do then is go to file and export now of course you could actually do more than that i mean this is a but this is just showing you how you can actually use this pattern design now in affinity but you can of course use effects layer effects and much more in this application also of course manipulate the actual pass now i'm going to save it to png and export whole document and just save it there save Okay, I'm going to get rid of that, and the next thing I'm going to do, just going to bring up a just a quick rectangle, because what I want to do is I'm just going to go to the gradient tool, and there's an option here for type. Just go to bitmap, just select that, and select the PNG. Now, unfortunately, it's not vectors. Now, it would be really nice if it was a vector, so an EPS file, but uh, unfortunately, it seems to be just bitmaps PNG, so open. And once you've actually got that in, you can then manipulate it and you can see you can just move it around. Obviously, if, if you wanted to, you could create, like I said, document 2000 by 2000, which would obviously be better. But this one's 700 by 700. Obviously, at some point, it's going to not look so so great. So, But you can rotate it, modify, and just resize. Right. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.